the shot, and beautiful! It's time for high school sports, right here on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast is brought to you by August Edge Real Estate, Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa, Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Doghouse Motorsports, Global Car Care, The Highlander Golf Course and Grill, JDSA Law, Laura Mounter Real Estate, Les Schwab Tires, One Way Construction, Pat Armstrong Ford Lincoln, Save Mart, Sangster Motors, Wenatchee Power Sports, Earthwise Pet, and Chelan Douglas Casa. And now let's get ready for high school sports. It starts now on your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel. Go six. Welcome back once again here to Recreation Park, ready for game two of our doubleheader here between the Wenatchee Panthers and the Brewster Bears. Wenatchee coming from behind and winning in high drama in game one, 7-6, scoring four runs in the bottom of the seventh inning and the big hit, Chase McDowell with a two-run single to get the victory for Wenatchee to improve to 4-4 four and four on the season. Meanwhile, Brewster drops to 0-9 with the heartbreaking loss here in game one today. Well, the guy who was the hero will be the guy on the mound warming up right now for the Wenatchee Panthers. As we take a look at our starting lineups, it's brought to you by Stevens Home Group, your local, real est uh, local expert real estate advisors. Find them on Facebook at Stevens Home Group. So here's the batting order for the Brewster Bears. It'll be A.J. Woodward, who will play in center field. He was a starter pitcher for Brewster in game one. Tyler uh, Shirtenley will be the pitcher here in game two. He'll bat second. Batting third is catcher Logan mcguire batting fourth shortstop reese vassar batting fifth and wearing the ceremonial number 10 is brady wolf the second baseman nico maldonado will bat sixth he's at third base kelson gebbers will bat seventh he's at first base court gebbers the dh will bat eighth and eric ramirez will be in left field he'll bat ninth Chase McDowell on the mound for the Wenatchee Panthers, and the right-handers' first pitch here of game two is in for a strike in the count 0-1 on A.J. Woodward. Around the field defensively, Luke Meyer again behind the home plate catching here for the Panthers. Jack Covenant at first base as this pitch is fouled away in the count 0-2 on Woodward. Joe Scheidelman at second, Tyler Scheidelman at short, Isaac England at third, Connor Christian out in left field, Dylan Kane in center, and Tyler Reams in right. That's your defensive alignment here for the Panthers. As A.J. Woodward leads it off here for Brewster. A fly ball on a very windy day is going to be an interesting measure no matter what, and this is going to drop in for a base hit. Give an asterisk on the wind-aided base hit, and now throw will get away from the infield, but staying at second on a hustle play for A.J. Woodward. And that'll basically go down as a double since there was uh, the ball just took forever in the air. And carried beyond shortstop Tyler Scottleman, and Connor Christian had no chance at it. Christensen, I should say. So with a runner in scoring position and nobody out, brings up Tyler Schurtenlieb. And the first pitch to him is popped up in shallow center. Easier play this time, although with the win, nothing's easy today. And now the throw into third base, not in time, is moving to third is A.J. Woodward. So one out on the fly out to center. And that'll bring up catcher Logan McGuire. Well, they've turned the music down finally behind us here in the pregame warm-up for soccer. So we can uh, try to listen in to a little of the baseball action here, aside from the wind howling through our microphones. Got a little uh, delay in the action here. Looks like maybe... Fleck is something got into the eyeball of Isaac England over there at third base on this windy day. So they're going to tend to him over in the dugout area. 
Again, our starting lineups brought to you by Stevens Home Group, your local expert real estate advisors. Find them on Facebook at Stevens Home Group. If you missed it earlier, the first game of the doubleheader, back and forth affair. Brewster took an early lead with a run on the top of the first. Wodanchi came back, took a two-run, a two-one lead in the bottom of the first inning. Brewster reclaimed the lead with two runs in the third, added another in the fourth. Wodanchi came back, scored a run in the bottom of the fourth to make it a 4-3 ball game. And then it lit, looked like Brewster just got some insurance runs in the top of the seventh with two coming in. Led it heading into the bottom of the seventh inning by a score of 6-3, to three, but Wenanchi scored four runs in the bottom of the seventh to win it by a final of 7-6. to six. So an interesting line score. Brewster with six runs on eight hits and an error. Wenanchi seven runs, six hits, and two errors. Schurtenlieb, who just flew out, Scored three times in that first game, had a couple of triples and a walk. Logan McGuire, who's waiting for a pitch to come his way after they deal with the uh, eye issues for third baseman Isaac England, now taken care of. So A.J. Woodward out there at third base for Brewster with one out here in the first. And Logan McGuire stepping to the plate. McGuire was one for two in game one today, and he'll take the first pitch for a strike. Oh, and one the count from Chase McDowell. And it was Chase McDowell who came through with the game winning two run single. The runner from third breaks the squeeze attempt, and out at home is the base runner. Squeeze attempt by Brewster trying to make something happen here in the opener. Caught stealing, two unassisted basically, is Woodward for the second out. Count 0-2 on McGuire. And this pitch is swung on a miss, and that's going to do it for Brewster here in their half of the first inning. So they get a hit. They don't leave a man, and we'll head to the bottom scoreless here at Recreation Park. It's Wenatchee and Brewster on the NCW Life Channel. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full-service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing, and they service all major brands of HVAC units. Scoreless game as we head to the bottom of the first inning here at Recreation Park, and the lineup here for Coach Jeff Zender in Game 2 for the Panthers looks very similar to game one as far as the batting order is concerned. Tyler uh, Skylumman will lead things off playing at shortstop. Batting second in right field, or excuse me, in center field is Dylan Kane. Batting third is catcher Luke Beyer. Batting fourth will be first baseman Jack Covenin. Batting fifth is third baseman Isaac England. Batting sixth is second baseman Joe Skylumman. Batting seventh, the pitcher Chase McDowell. Batting eighth is left fielder Connor Christensen. And batting ninth will be right fielder Tyler Reams. That's the order for the Wenatchee Panthers. Tyler Shurtonley, meanwhile, will be on the mound here for, or Tyson Shurtonley, I should say. Logan McGuire again catching behind home plate for the Brewster Bears. That's your battery here in a game two of our doubleheader today after Wenatchee came from behind to win game one. This pitch swung on a miss. And the bottom of the first begins with a strike to Tyler Skylerman. And 
The 0-1 pitch is high and inside for a ball. One and one the count to Skyleman, who was 1-4-4 four, four in the opener. Did score a run. Pitch here is swung on and fouled out of play in the count. A ball and two strikes to Tyler. Skyleman ended up with the game win on the mound, going two and two thirds. Allowed two runs, two hits, three strikeouts, and one walk in his two and two thirds in game one today. Curveball here misses for a ball and evens the count to Skyleman at two balls and two strikes. Skyleman came into the day leading the Panthers hitting wise with a 545 average. The 2 2 pitch is high and away. Good eye by Skyleman. The count goes to three and two. Wenatchee with seven runs on six hits and a couple of errors in game one. The 3 2 pitch is swung on a missed. High strike there and gone swinging is Skyleman. That'll bring up center fielder Dylan Kane. Kane in the opener was one for three. He scored a run. In fact, scored Wenatchee's first run of the game in the bottom of the first inning. Scheduled for seven, game two of our doubleheader here today at Recreation Park. Swing and a foul out of play on the first base side and the count 0-1 here on Dylan Kane. Our broadcast on the NCAA Life Channel brought to you in part by Earthwise Pet. If your pet had a choice, they'd choose Earthwise. The 0-1 pitch from Shirt and Lieb is in there for a strike, and the count goes to 0-2 on Dylan Kane. So Shirt and Lieb coming out and throwing strikes here for Brewster. Diminutive right-hander on the mound. Looks in, gets the sign, and the 0-2 pitch on the way is outside for a ball. Trying to get Kane chasing one there. So Wenatchee now finds itself in a position trying to go for the season sweep of Brewster after a win on Tuesday, 11 to three up in Okanagan County. This pitch misses outside for a ball, two and two to count. And then coming from behind to win game one here today, seven, six. A two, two pitch is low and away for ball three, three and two. So. First two batters that certainly has faced, he has gone full to on the count. He struck out Skyleman, one down with Dylan Kane now. A full count to him. The pitch swung on and fouled down the first baseline and out of play, so the count remains at three balls and two strikes. Getting the lineups in between the two games, talking with the head coach for Brewster, Todd Phillips, I said, oh, you guys were so close, one out away. He says, yeah, well. When you are very young and inexperienced, he says, sometimes that happens. And they've had it happen often here this season, falling to Efreda on week one, 6-4, falling to Eastmont, 6-3 and 6-1, falling to Moses Lake, 5-3. Ball four is issued here to Dylan Kane, so the Panthers have a runner aboard with one down, and that'll bring up catcher Luke Beyer. Wind continues to howl here at Recreation Park. The first pitch to Byer is fouled away in the count 0-1-1. So, so far, Shirt and Lieb has gone out in front of every batter he's faced here, but he's also gone full counts and walked Dylan Kane. So one aboard with one down for Wenatchee and an 0-1 count to Luke Byer. Certain lead with a check of the runner at first. Who goes? The pitch is high and outside. The throw down to second base is in time. They got him. Caught stealing is Dylan Kane. Two, four on the put out. Two outs here in the inning. And the count, a ball and a strike to Luke Bayer. You know, that may have been a pitch out. That pitch was high and outside and gave Logan McGuire a great chance to get out and make that throw down to second base. This pitch misses for a ball. Two and one the count to Luke Beyer. So Brewster dropped to 0 and 9 on the season and that is certainly unfamiliar territory for the Brewster Bears, that's for sure. Very, very successful program and just in the middle of a rebuild. 
A lot of youngsters on this roster. The 3-1 pitch is a swing and a miss by Beyer, and the count goes to 3-2. and two. So three batters in a row have gone full here on Tyson Schertenleib. The payoff pitch swung on and fouled back, so Beyer stays alive. What this also does basically, if you're looking at the Panthers' perspective here, a lot of pitches thrown by Tyson for Brewster just facing three batters. 3-2 pitch again. Swung on and hit in the air in the infield. The shortstop's going to call for it. And Reese Vassar will make the catch, and that'll do it for Wenatchee here in their part of the first. A 1-2-3, as it turns out to be. We'll head to the second scoreless at Recreation Park. At Earthwise Pet, we take an all-natural approach to wellness and nutrition. Our professional certified groomers were trained by the best in the Pacific Northwest. Our staff here at Earthwise Pet are all certified in pet nutrition. We are here to help you select the perfect food, supplement, and anything else you may need to make sure your pet is living its best and most healthy life. Earthwise Pet, nutrition center and wellness spa. Online or in the store, we are here for you. To achieve greatness once, it's not the end of the journey. It is only the beginning. Introducing the next all-electric super truck. The revolutionary GMC Hummer EV SUV. Reserve one now while they last. Well, here we go to the second inning, and the four, five, six batters do up here for Brewster in their part of the second. That'll be Reese Vassar, Brady Wolf, and Nico Maldonado. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Live channel for game two of our doubleheader today. Eric Grandstrom with you, and our broadcast brought to you in part by Wenatchee FC, North Central Washington's leader in development of youth soccer players with club teams, camps, private training, and tournament playing opportunities. Scholarships available. For more information, visit wfcyouth.net. So Reese Vassar to lead things off for Brewster here in the second of a scoreless game so far. And the pitch misses way outside for a ball to Reese. Vassar in game one was two for four for the Bears with a couple of RBIs. That happened in his last plate appearance in the seventh. This pitch swung on and fouled away. Logan McGuire, the only senior on the club here for Brewster. Brady Wolf, a freshman. Cole Aparicio, a freshman. Court Gebbers, a freshman. Evan Brooks, a freshman. Cash Vandalak, a freshman. Blake Burgett, a freshman. They even have some eighth graders on the roster. This pitch misses high and inside for a ball. Leadoff man here in the second for the Bears. Scoreless, second inning, scheduled for seven. This pitch is golfed and foul on the third base side. Couple of strikes now on Vassar. They have one, two, three, three eighth graders on the roster, does Brewster. And just three juniors. Swing and a miss here and gone on the first out by a strikeout. Second strikeout in a row for Wenatchee's Chase McDowell, and that'll bring up Brady Wolf. Wolf put in the awkward position in the first game as a reliever. And a freshman on the mound with a lot of pressure on him and gave up a couple of runs that were the difference in the ball game. So he took the loss. First pitch misses outside for a ball to Brady. One and oh, the count. Next delivery by McDowell is across but low for ball two. Nico Maldonado is on deck here for the Bears. 
Good contingent from Brewster making the trip down south to the Wenatchee Valley here today. The 2-0 pitch is also outside for ball three. Umpires calling balls and strikes here. Behind home plate is Nick Darlin. Finally a strike across the knees for Chase McDowell. And the count goes to three and one on Brady Wolf. Cody Pregshot goes out to the bases on this second game of the twin bill. His pitch is lined in the center field for a base hit. So the second hit of the ball game comes with one out for Brewster here in the second inning. And with Wolf aboard, that'll bring up third baseman Nico Maldonado. Well, if you joined us late, Brewster, one thing they're doing here in baseball is honoring a senior that passed away here a couple months ago, Cade Gevers. He was a four-year starter with the Brewster Bears baseball team, started when he was in the eighth grade and uh, would be his senior year. So his number 10 is being worn by a different player in honor of Cade throughout the season. This pitch low and inside for a ball to Nico Maldonado. Want to know the count to the third baseman for Brewster. So they rotate that and it's voted on by the players and it changes every game. This game, Brady Wolf, who's at first base wearing number 10 in honor of Mr. Gevers. This pitch swung on and it's gonna go through for a base hit out in the left field. So back-to-back -back base hits here for Brewster. Puts runners at first and second base, and that'll bring up first baseman Kelson Gebbers. Kelson in game one was 0 for 3 with a strikeout and a flyout and a pop out. So Kelson looking for his first hit of the day here for the Bears. Kelson, a sophomore at the plate, and the first pitch to him is swung on a ground into the left or left side of the infield. A throw, long throw for Tyler Skyleman, but he's able to make it from his shortstop position. Brady Wolf will move down to third base on the play. Maldonado to second. 6 3 on the putout on Gebbers for the second out. And that'll bring up the DH Court Gebbers. Court just a freshman, and the first pitch to him is swung on a missed. 0-1 to count to Court. This will be Court's first play today. Listed as the DH for Coach Todd Phillips. And the 0-1 pitch to him is across the knees for a strike, and the count 0-2 on Court. Scoreless ball game, two down here in the second and a curveball that misses in the dirt. Nice stop uh, behind the plate by Luke Beyer. And the count goes to a ball and two strikes on Court Gebbers. Appreciate the late sponsorship here by Wenatchee FC. They came on board and wanted to get the word out about their program. You can find out more at wfcyouth.net. Swing and a miss here, and that'll do it for the Bears as they threaten but do not score. Leave a couple of men aboard. We'll head to the bottom of the second inning. Still scoreless in Wenatchee between the Bears and the Panthers here on the NCW Life Channel. Wenatchee Power Sports not only has a new owner, but an all-new attitude to match. Speaking of attitude, check out the 2021 models arriving now. Polaris snowmobiles, ATVs, and side-by-sides. Yamaha motorcycles, watercraft, ATVs, and side-by-sides. KTM motorcycles and the latest edition beta high-performance motorcycles. Coming this fall, a huge demo event featuring the latest and hottest off-road machines. It's all at the retune Wenatchee Power Sports, where maximum performance is a way of life. 3031 GS Center Road in North Wenatchee open Tuesday through Saturday. 
JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. Do up here in the bottom of the second, Jack Covid and Isaac England and Joe Skyleman for the Wenatchee Panthers in a scoreless game here between Brewster and Wenatchee. Thanks for joining us on the NCW Live Channel. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Save Mart. Shop smart, shop local, serving the Wenatchee Valley since 1962. Jack steps in the right-handed batter's box, and the first pitch to him by Shirton Lee misses high and away for ball one, one and oh the count. Wenatchee got a man aboard in the second, but Dylan Kane was caught stealing. This fastball's across the knees for a taken strike, one and one the count to Covenant. The 1 1 delivery here by Schertenlieb is in there for a strike, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Covenant, good eye in game one. He had a double, scored three times, walked three times. Also an RBI on his double to start the ball game. Pitch swung on here, protecting the plate on a pitch that was probably inside. The count goes or stays at a ball and two strikes on Jack Covenant. Again, Isaac England, Joe Skyleman also do up here in the second for Wenatchee. Covenant and cues the next one behind home plate. Remains alive in the count at a ball and two strikes. More baseball coming your way on Tuesday as Eastmont hosts Efreda. That should be a good one. Joel Norman's got your play-by-play -play Tuesday night here on the NCW Life Channel. Fastball misses wave, evens the count of two and two on Covenant. Jack again came into the day second on the team in batting with a 455 average. Did not hurt that at all in game one today. This pitch misses way outside for a ball. Full count now to Covenant. Interesting. All four batters that Tyson certainly has faced here in the game, he has gone a full count to. Covenant back and ready. Shirton leaves delivery high and inside for a ball. Second walk given up by Shirton Leib, and that'll bring up third baseman Isaac England. Our broadcast today brought to you by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, providing heating and air conditioning service and installation since 1982. Serving residential and commercial, they specialize in indoor air quality, installation, and service or repair. So Covenant aboard. One on for the Panthers, nobody out. As England steps up, Isaac looks at the first pitch and swings at it and fouls it back into the screen behind home plate. 0-1 the count to Isaac, who was one for three in game one. He scored the game-winning run for Wenatchee. And an RBI. Fastball here across the knees for a strike. 0 2 the count quickly on Isaac England. Isaac started the first game on the mound, went four and a third, gave up four runs on six hits. Did not have a say in that one as Wenatchee came back, won it in the seventh. Fastball away here for a ball. 1 and 2 on Isaac England, third baseman for Wenatchee. I would hazard a guess to say there's about 40 people or so from Brewster that are here watching the game today. This pitch misses low for ball two, two and two, the count to England. We shall say that uh, Covenant at first base, not fleet of foot, so not really a danger to steal. Swing and a mess here on a pitch that was outside by England. Is a strikeout, the second strikeout of the ball game here by Schertenlieb, and that will be one down for Wenatchee and bring up second baseman Joe Skyleman.
First pitch from Schertenlieb on the way to Skyliman is across for a strike. Well, he's doing well at getting ahead of batters, throwing first pitch strikes, but he's throwing a lot of pitches here is Tyson Schertenlieb. The 0-1 pitch on the way is a check swing, and the umpire says that was close enough for a strike anyway, so it's 0-2 quickly on Joe Skyleman. Joe earlier was 0 for 2 officially in the ball game in the first game today. Wenatchee's 7-6 victory. Pop up behind home plate, now to play. Count stays at 0 and 2 on Joe. Outfield playing pretty much straight away. Again, the wind blowing out to left here at uh, Recreation Park here this afternoon. The 0-2 pitch again to Scaliman. Strike three called. He's gone looking for the second out here in the second, and that'll bring up Chase McDowell. McDowell came through with the only hit for him in the game, but what a time to do it with the bases loaded in the seventh. Drove in the game tying run and the game winning run on a shot to right center field that dropped in for the base hit and the game winner. He takes the first pitch. McDowell back in already. A toss to the bag at first and oh, they did not get him. That was close. Coven in a little late getting back to the bag. On a toss over there by Tyson Schertenlieb to Kelson Gebbers. The pitch is a little high for a ball. So Chase getting the game-winning hit in game one, and now the pitcher to start for Wenatchee here in game two. The pitch by Schertenlieb swung on a miss, so he's got two strikes on him. Scoreless ball game, two down here in the second with a runner at first base for Wenatchee. Pitch is low and inside for a ball. Chase McDowell back in the batter's box. Tyson Schertenlieb gets a sign from his catcher and the pitch just outside for ball four. So the third walk given up, second in the inning here by Schertenlieb. Puts runners at first and second. And we'll see Connor Christensen for the first time here today. Actually, no, second time here today. As he came in in the seventh of the first game here. So Christensen steps up with runners at first and second base and two down. And the first pitch to him is across the knees for a strike. High school softball coming up next Saturday here on the NCW Live Channel. We'll be over at Sterling Fourplex for the first time. We'll broadcast a game live there. In fact, doubleheader as Wenatchee takes on East Bond. Swing and a miss on the next pitch from Christensen and the count now 0-2 on Connor. Swing and a miss there. So... He walked two, but also struck out the side. An interesting line there for Tyson, certainly, but he does the job. We'll head to the third inning of play. Scoreless here at Recreation Park. You're watching baseball on the NCW Live Channel. By working together as a community, we can all play a part in promoting children's well-being and strengthening families. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Shalane Douglas Casa is dedicated to supporting families and reducing the risk of child abuse and neglect. Join us in our community-wide pinwheel project and help keep kids safe. If you suspect a child is being abused or neglected, please call 1-866-363-4276. Doghouse Motorsports just won Best Motorsports Store for the seventh year in a row. Is it the great facility? Is it the fantastic products? Or is it? I'm Bobby. And I'm Tabor. I'm Mike. And I'm Glenn. Hi, I'm Todd. I'm Jeff. And this is the Doghouse Service Team. Hi, I'm Dee. And I'm Dwayne. 
And I'm Kathy. Come on in and experience the doghouse. Are you in the doghouse? Welcome back to Recreation Park as we head to the third inning of play and the scoreless one, Eric Ramirez will lead it off for the Bears, followed by A.J. Woodward and Tyler Schertenlaib. Appreciate you joining us on the NCW Live channel here today for the second game of our doubleheader. It's brought to you by Les Schwab Tires. Les Schwab takes your safety seriously every time you stop by. I thought maybe <laughs> the wind would lay down. No, it seems to be picking up even more so. Ramirez with a taken strike there from Chase McDowell. As he works in the third inning on the mound for the Wenatchee Panthers. Pitch swung on and fouled up the third baseline. So the count goes to a ball and two strikes on Eric Ramirez. Ramirez was over in game one today. Grounded out a couple of times to second and struck out swinging. And his three plate appearances. The one-two pitch is swung on a grounded right to third base, and Preston Brownlee's there. The throw across is a little bit low, but dug out there nicely. So 5-3 on the put out. One out here in the third, back to the top of the order for the Bears and A.J. Woodward. Our broadcast location here at Recreation Park is out above and beyond the center field wall. So I'm a long way from home plate. Typically, you know, you want to be behind home plate with your broadcast, but uh, we've got to do what we can to make the signal work. And so that's why we're out here. So it's it's a long way away. This pitch misses low for a ball. One and one to count to A.J. Woodward, who doubled in his first plate appearance. <laughs> it was a strange double. The ball just uh, went sky high and on this windy day caused lots of problems for everybody and it touched the ground without touching any leather. And uh, good job by AJ to just chug around first base and cruise into second with a double. Two and one to count to him here. The pitch to the plate is low and away for a ball. Three and one to AJ Woodward. So it's... Uh, little interesting perspective as we are actually in the press box for Lee Bofto Field at the Apple Bowl where Wenatchee is hosting Waluke on the other side of things here on the artificial surface in the Apple Bowl. Swing and a foul on the third base side runs the count full to Woodward here at three and two. One down in the third scoreless here at Rec Park, historic recreation park. 3-2 pitch is inside for ball four. So a walk given up by Chase McDowell is his first of the game. And with a runner aboard and one down, that brings up the counterpart to McDowell. Pitcher for Brewster, Tyler Tyson, I should say. Schertenlaib. Tyson's 0 for 1 after flying out to center in the first. Close play at the bag at first as Jack Covenant tries to swipe the tag down on A.J. Woodward. A little late, however. And another toss. Timing was good. The throw a little bit off the mark, however. So Covenant doesn't even apply the tag. Certainly, meanwhile, in the right-handed batter's box, still waiting for the first pitch to come his way. Finally it is, and it's a fastball missing outside for ball one. So perched above me, about oh, five feet higher than I am, is uh, our main camera here. This pitch is grounded up the third baseline. Right there is Brownlee. The throw to first is in time. They got him. The runner from second tries to go to third on the play, and he will. 
So Woodward winds up down at third base on a scramble play. 5-3 on the putout on certainly Two down in the third here for Brewster, and that'll bring up Logan McGuire. So Dan Kuntz is, riding, is uh, operating our camera above us, our main camera from center field, and then Levi Day is down on the camera on the first baseline. And they have been battling the winds, probably way more for Dan than there is for Levi on his elevated platform here at Leboftow Field. Pitch is swung on and grounded to the shortstop, but, oh, Skylovan can't handle it, and a run's going to score. First run of the game comes home for Brewster, and it's a 1-0 lead. Skylovan, I think, was waiting for that ball to bounce up to him. It just uh, took a hop on the turf and went kind of under his shoe and then bounded away from him. So I'm not sure if they'll give a base hit or an error on that one, but uh, nonetheless, A.J. Woodward comes home to score. McGuire ends up at first base, and that'll bring up shortstop Reese Vassar. Vassar struck out to start the second in this one for Brewster as the Bears strike first on the scoreboard. Curveball here is in there for a strike. Owen won the count to Reese. Oh, one pitch gets away from the catcher, goes all the way to the backstop, and that will allow McGuire to move up to second base on a wild pitch. Evens the count to Vassar at one ball and one strike. I believe they are going to give an error to Tyler Skyleman on that play. That could have ended the inning. Pitch is golfed up the third baseline. Foul rattles around the dugout on the third base side. And the count goes to a ball and two strikes to Reese Vassar. Vassar, a sophomore. Part of this youth movement at Brewster High School. The one-two pitch is a curveball swung on and hit foul, this time on the first base side. And we'll try to find uh, the hood of a car in our parking lot here at Recreation Park. Count stays at a ball and two strikes on Reese Vassar. Rip down the third baseline, and this is a fair ball, and that's going to score another run for Brewster. Bears are up 2-0 on the RBI single here by Reese Vassar. Well, he golfed a couple foul and now rips this one down the third baseline. Give him an RBI. McGuire comes home to score. Brewster up 2-0. So the Bears, second game in a row, strike first against the Panthers. Toss over to the bag at first, not in time to get Vassar over there. Brady Wolf, meanwhile, at the plate is one for one with a single to center in the second. Curve ball doesn't curve, almost hit the batter. Want to know the count here to Brady. Seahawks involved in the NFL draft today. They traded up to pick up a lineman, looks like. Swing and a ground ball right to the second baseman. Skyliman will gobble this one up and throw to first in plenty of time to get the out, but not before. Brewster gets two runs on a hit and air, and one man left. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Brewster up two zip over Wenatchee here on the NCW Life Channel.
Sure glad we went to Les Schwab. I'm glad the baby's still happy. Well, I'm just glad that along with tires, Les Schwab also does brakes, alignment, and a bunch of other safety services. I mean, if we had gone to a cheap tire store instead, I'd be a doggone wreck. My thoughts exactly. During the Les Schwab Spring Tire Sale, save up to $200 when you bundle select tires, wheels, and brakes. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Tyler Reams, Tyler Skydelman, and Dylan Kane do up here for Wenatchee, the 9, 1, and 2 men uh, in the order as we head to the bottom of the third and uh, score finally in this one as Brewster played it two in the top half of the frame and lead it 2 nothing. So the Panthers again will have to work from behind here this afternoon. First pitch is high and inside from Tyson Schertenlieb to Tyler Reams. 1-0 the count on Reams. Reams was 0-2 in his two plate appearances in game one today. Hey, Wenatchee wins 7-6. This pitch misses by not much inside. 2-0 the count on Reams here. Certain leaves delivery is popped in the air. Foul, and this one's going to get out of play. No play for anybody. 2-1 the count on Reams. The Seahawks get tackle Stone Forsyth by trading up today in the NFL draft after getting a receiver yesterday in the third round. Low and outside with this pitch. Third ball to Tyler Reams. Good eye by Mr. Reams. As Tyson certainly has kind of had a interesting battle here today, and that is ball four or strike three. Strike three gone looking is Tyler Reams for the first out here of the third. Yeah, certainly walked two, but then struck out the side in the second. So that's his fourth strikeout, make that fifth strikeout of the game. And back to the top of the order for Wenatchee for Tyler Skylerman. Skylerman started the game off with a strikeout. He rips this ball down the third baseline and it is just foul. Our broadcast today on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Global Car Care. Your vehicle is their number one priority. Diesels and European cars are their specialty. Pick up and drop off also available. Stop by their website to find out more at globalcarcare.net. Pitch is swung on and hit in the air to right field and right at the right fielder who circles under it. Uh, Zane Madden makes the play. Out retired. Two down in the inning for Wenatchee, and that'll bring up Dylan Kane. Kane walked in the first, but was caught stealing. And what basically turned out to be a pitch out on a pitch that was high and outside to Luke Beyer. First pitch here hits Dylan Kane, so he's aboard with two down. And that'll bring up Beyer, who is 0 for 1, who popped out to the shortstop back in the first. Beyer steps in the left-handed batter's box against the righty on the mound in Tyson Schertenlieb. And the pitch to him misses high for ball 1, 1-0 one the count to Beyer. Warm conditions today, but the wind kind of sucking some of that <laughs> enjoyment you could have out of the sunshine here, that's for sure. Dribbler hit foul up the first base side, so the count evens to Byer at one ball and one strike. See if I can lean away from my board long enough to find out what's happening in the soccer match behind us here. It is two to one with Anchi on top of Waluk. Swing and a miss. Meanwhile, in the baseball game by Luke Beyer and the count goes to a ball and two strikes.
two down here, bottom of the third, Brewster on top, two zip, and the one-two pitch is strike three called, so gone looking is Luke Beyer, and that'll do it for Wenatchee here in the third. They leave a man aboard, and that will head us to the fourth with Brewster up over Wenatchee, two nothing here on the NCW Life Channel. When you call Dixie Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35 plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dix today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. Your search for quality patio furniture with excellent customer service is over. Blue Lagoon is proud to offer only the finest outdoor furniture and accessories from some of the most renowned manufacturers in the industry. Our showroom showcases a large selection of in-stock furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, cushions, and outdoor accessories. Our in-house outdoor decor specialist is available to help you design and custom order the perfect furniture for your unique space. To the fourth inning of play we go here at Recreation Park with uh, Brewster leading Wenatchee 2-0 here on the NCW Live Channel. Eric Granstrom with you. Nico Maldonado, Kelson Gebbers, and Court Gebbers do up here in the fourth for the Bears who have a couple of runs, and that was back in their last at bat as they scored two on one run at one air, and they left two men on board. Maldonado looks at the first pitch from McDowell, miss outside for ball one. Nico's one for one with a base hit to left in his first to bat back in the second. The 1 0 pitch is high and inside for ball two, 2 and 0. Nico 0 for 4 in game one today. He did score a run. 2 0 pitch to him is swung on a grounded on two hops to Preston Brownlee at third, throw to first in time. No problem for Brownlee, one down here in the fourth. And that brings up Kelson Gebbers. First baseman for Brewsters, 0 for 1. He grounded out to short in the second. Curveball in for a strike, 0 and 1 to count to Gebbers. Chase McDowell has that little sleepy slurve. Swing and a miss here on strike two for Gebbers. He was expecting that ball again to bite across the plate that started inside. See what McDowell has here. Are they go two pitches, a fastball outside in a way for ball one. Good idea to get him to chase on that one. One down for Brewster. We're in the top of the fourth. Two zip. Bears on top of the Panthers. And the one-two pitch from McDowell is inside and hit the back of the leg of the batter, so Gebbers will get aboard. That is the first hit batsman by McDowell in the ball game. That goes along with a walk as well. That brings up the DH, Court Gebbers, who struck out swinging to end the second for Brewster. McDowell now working from the stretch. Right-hander checks the runner at first. Pitch on the way to the plate is low and inside for a ball. Our broadcast here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you by One Way Construction, a premier custom home builder and general contractor in North Central Washington. One Way Construction, your project, your way. The 1-0 pitch from McDowell on the way to the plate is swung on a miss. The runner from first goes, and the pitch was in the dirt. So a stolen base here for Kelson Gebbers. Court now with an even count to him at 1-1. 
swing and is that a foul or is that the ball that got past the catcher? Looks like it's a live ball. Swing and a miss on strike two. Meanwhile, down to third base on the play. I guess I have to say a pass ball. So a chance for Brewster to add to their lead here, and the pitch is swung on a missed for the second out here of the inning. Another strikeout for Chase McDowell in the game. That gives him four here this afternoon, and that'll bring up left fielder Eric Ramirez. First pitch misses outside to Ramirez. 1-0 the count. Ramirez 0 for 1. He started off the third with a ground out to third. So Preston Brownlee, a couple of things to keep in mind with a runner right next to him. Fastball misses away for ball two. And the fact that he had a ball hit to him by this batter last time up. 2-0 pitch to the plate is in there for a strike. So says home plate umpire Nick Darlin. Cody Preg shot out on the base pass here for game two today. And the 2-1 pitch from McDowell. Curve misses outside for ball three. Strike called here, and the count runs full on Ramirez at three and two. Kelson covers with a short lead from third, two down in the inning, and the three-two pitch is swung on a missed, and a nice job by Chase McDowell to get himself out of the frame, striking out two, and we'll head to the bottom of the fourth with Brewster leading Wenatchee two nothing here on the NCW Live Channel. Building. It's in our blood. Building something out of nothing, it takes heart, grit, and hard work. At One Way Construction, our crew is our family. With decades of contracting experience and our in-house design team, we bring a unique perspective to building. We know that if we work together, we are capable of reaching heights that are impossible to reach alone. The possibilities are endless. Save Mart is the place to go if you are in the market for home furnishings. They have rows and rows of sofas, love seats, recliners, and chairs in a vast array of fabrics and colors. Name brands include Ashley, Best, and Stanton. With pictures, lamps, and tables to complement your new furniture, Save Mart is a one stop shop. Save Mart offers 12 month special financing on approval of credit. Save Mart also offers free delivery, setup, and haul away in their service area. Serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 50 years. Located on North Wenatchee Avenue or visit online at SaveMart.net. To the bottom of the fourth we go. Jack Covenant leads it off here for Wenatchee and looks at the first pitch low and inside for a ball. 1-0 and the count. He'll be followed by Isaac England and Joe Skyleman in a 2-0 Brewster lead here. As Shirton Lee delivers the next pitch across for a strike and the count evens at one ball and one strike. We have quite the soccer match happening behind us at uh, Leibofto Field at the Apple Bowl. While Luke has just scored the game tying goal in the 65th minute. It is now 2-2. I think that's what I saw on the scoreboard back there. It is tied at 2. I didn't catch the timing necessarily. 2-1 pitch is a strike on the outside portion of the plate. My goodness. Looked outside, but again, I'm 400 and some odd feet away from home plate, so can't tell you for sure. You can see better on the TV screen than what I can see here with my naked eye. 2-2 two -two count to Covenant to lead off the fourth for the Panthers. Trying to get something going here offensively. Strike three called. Gone looking is Jack Covenant for the first out here of the fourth inning. And that is the seventh strikeout by Tyson Schertenlieb here for Brewster. That'll bring up third baseman Isaac England, who's 0 for 1, one of those seven strikeout victims he struck out back in the second
Couple of foul balls here for Isaac England. Panthers after today will take on Kashmir Tuesday here at uh, Recreation Park at 430. Swing and a miss, and they're going to have to throw down to first base. They will, and they'll get the strikeout 2-3 on the putout. Two down here in the fourth for Wenatchee and brings up second baseman Joe Skyleman. Week from today, the Panthers will host Efrede in the final home games of the season. The doubleheader starts at 11 o'clock here at Recreation Park and then travel to Moses Lake to finish the season on May 15th. Swing and a miss by Skyleman. 0 and 1 to count. Joe also a strikeout victim. Now eight strikeouts in the game for Tyson Schurtenlieb. 0 1 pitch. Swung on a popped up in the infield to the left side. Calling for it is the shortstop. Reese Vassar will make the catch for the out, and that'll do it. A 1 2 3 story here for Wenatchee in the fourth to the fifth. We go. And it is the B school leading the 4A school. Brewster, two, Wenatchee, nothing. Thanks for watching the NCW Life Channel. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. Hi, I'm Shauna Larson. I'm the designated broker here at Laura Mounter Real Estate. We are a locally owned firm and we've worked hard to earn our reputation of always doing business the right way. Laura Mounter Real Estate is continually investing in the best technologies and highest quality marketing. For these reasons, our community has voted us the world's best real estate office for the past five years. If you have real estate needs, let a Laura Mounter real estate agent show you the difference. Top of the order due up here for Brewster in their part of the fifth. A.J. Woodward, Tyson Schurtenlieb, and Logan McGuire as the Bears enjoy a 2-0 lead over Wenatchee. Second game of the doubleheader, Wenatchee came back with four runs in the bottom of the seventh to win game one today by a score of 7-6. First pitch from Chase McDowell misses high and outside. 1-0 the count to A.J. Woodward, who is two for, or make that one for one in the game with a double and a walk and a run scored. This pitch is in for a strike, and the count evens to Woodward at one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one -one pitch is low and away for a ball, two and one to count. Inside, missing for ball three. You want a little culture to your diet? Watch tonight here on the NCW Life Channel starting at 7 o'clock. It is the Wenatchee Valley Symphony Orchestra's fourth concert of the season. Their final concert. This pitch misses away for a ball. So A.J. Woodward is aboard with a leadoff walk here to start the fifth. Now to bring up the pitcher, Tyler, or make that Tyson Schurtenlieb. Yeah, so something a little different for your palate tonight. A virtual concert provided to the NCW Life Channel by Skeeter Buggins Productions in association with the Wenatchee Valley Symphony. Bunt attempt is fouled up the third baseline by Schurtenlieb. 0-1 the count. Coach Todd Phillips trying to put himself in a position to add some insurance. Certainly saw what he thought was two runs of insurance in the top of the seventh of game one today disappear in that bottom of the seventh as Brewster was looking for its first win of the season. The 0-1 pitch again, a bunt attempt, and it went behind the batter or did it hit him? Yes, it did. So they get the runner to move up without having to waste an out on the sacrifice. And that'll bring up Logan McGuire. 
McGuire's 0 for 2. Struck out the first. He got aboard on an error on a shortstop. Tyler Skyleman in the third ended up scoring. An unearned run. Now another bunt attempt. It would seem the pitch is inside and fouled away. Or did it hit him? They're going to say it hit him. So back-to-back -back hit by pitch. The outfielder closest to us here at our broadcast location, Dylan Kane, is saying that's a foul ball. But no, the umpires both agree it was hit by pitch. And so bases are jammed with nobody out. Now Jeff Sender comes out to the mound to have a discussion with his infield. Our broadcast today on the NCW Life Channel brought to you by Laura Mounter Real Estate. Rated world's best real estate firm for the Wenatchee Valley in 2020. Also by Jeffers, Danielson, Son, and Aylward attorneys serving the Wenatchee Valley with the finest professional services since 1946. So it looks like a change going to be made here as Jack Covenant will come in to pitch here for the Panthers. They'll make a shift here defensively as well. With the pitching change made, let's go ahead and take a 30-second break, and we'll come back with more here. As Brewster threatening with the bases loaded, nobody on the fifth. We'll come back as the Bears lead it 2-0 over Wenatchee after this on the NCW Life Channel. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. So Jack Covenant will come in from first base and will take over on the mound here for the Wenatchee Panthers. The change defensively right now that I can see is that Chase McDowell will head out to left field. And taking over at first base will be Preston Brownlee. There we go, okay. So Connor Christensen comes out, so I assume that that means Brownlee will hit in his spot. On uh, the offensive side with the bases loaded, first pitch by COVID and misses high and inside for a ball. So Chase McDowell goes four plus. Right now he's allowed two runs, one of those earned, but he's responsible for all three on the base pass. Taken here by Reese Vassar is a strike across the knees. The count even to Vassar, one ball and one strike. So a chance for Brewster to really break it open here. Leading at 2 nothing. nobody out, bases loaded. The 1-1 pitch is swung on and hit foul on the first base side. Count goes to a ball and two strikes. Pitcher's best friend right here would be a strikeout, and then that puts a double play in play. But we'll see. Infield drawn in on the corners. Here comes the one-two pitch. Curve ball is just a little bit inside. What a break to that as it started around the shoulders of Reese Vassar. Almost broke enough to get across the plate. Two-two count. As Covenant's delivery is swung out of mist. So a big strike out there for Jack Covenant. One out in the fifth. And that'll bring up Brady Wolf. Wolf is one for two in the game with a single to center and a fly out to right. Base is jammed with Bears. The pitch to the plate swung on and fouled away in the count 0-1 on Brady Wolf. Our broadcast here on the NCW Life Channel also brought to you by August Edge Real Estate, your personal real estate agency with full service offered at just a 2% listing fee. 
0-1 oh to count to Wolf. Jack Covenant working in relief here. The 0-1 pitch to the plate is a curveball in there for a strike, and the count goes to 0-2. Jack Covenden, the first baseman sliding over to the mound, asked to do the fireman duty here and put out this blaze. The 0-2 pitch misses high with a fastball, trying to get Wolf to chase one up and out of the strike zone, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Nico Maldonado waiting on deck for Brewster. The 1-2 pitch is a curveball swung on. This is going to get in for a base hit and going to score one run. And it goes past the left fielder. Tyler Reams can't hold it. And another run's going to score. They're going to go for three, and it will clear the bases. So a base hit and an error on the left fielder. And Brewster plates three. So give one RBI to Brady Wolf, maybe even two RBIs. The third run to score was definitely on the air on the left fielder. And I apologize, that was Chase McDowell on the air there. The pitch to the next batter is high and inside for a ball. 1 0 to count to Nico Maldonado. So the error on McDowell allows the runner to score from first base. Meanwhile, one to know the count here, and this pitch is behind the batter. It did it hit him. It was close. Like I say, it didn't hit him. It just went behind him. So Nico Maldonado ahead in the count at 2-0 and o with Brady Wolf out at second base. Give him a base hit and two RBIs. The third run scored on an error, and this pitch is across the knees for a strike. Two and one, the count to Nico. Maldonado one for two in the game with a base hit and a ground down. Brewster up 5 nothing here over the Panthers. Curveball here misses high and inside for ball three. So behind in the count, one and two, Brady Wolf serves one into left field. That ends up clearing the bases. Curveball here is inside for ball four. Well, if you're looking at the glass half full for Wenatchee with that walk to Maldonado, it uh, puts the double play back on. With only one out here in the inning. Kelson Gebers will now step to the plate. He's 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch in his last at bat in the fourth. The pitch by Jack Covenant to the plate, low and away for ball one. The inning started off on a walk to A.J. Woodward. Then Tyson certainly was hit by a pitch. Logan McGuire hit by a pitch. This pitch swung on and a fly ball deep left field it's going to be fouled and out of play though just a long strike for kelson gebbers one on one to count that uh, last hit batsman brought jeff zender out of the dugout and he made the pitching change brought Z uh, jack coven into the mound he struck out the first battery play he faced and then was ahead to wolf but then gave up the two run single and then an error scored another run so three runs in the inning for Brewster, still batting. Strike across the knees here to Gebbers, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Wolf at second base, Maldonado at first base for Brewster. And the one-two pitch from Covenin outside for ball two. Appreciate you joining us today here on the NCW Life Channel. Second game of our doubleheader here this afternoon. The 2-2 pitch on the way to the plate is a curveball missing outside for ball three. Seventh man to the plate here for Brewster in this so far three-run fifth inning. They now lead it 5-0 over Wenatchee. 
Cohen and ready, and here comes the 3-2 pitch on the way to the plate. Swung on, a missed. So two down for Brewster in the fifth, and that'll bring up Court Gebbers, who has struck out a couple of times, or will it be Court Gebbers? I think they're going to bring a pinch hitter in. So we'll see if we can get the glasses up and find out who that is at the plate. Of course, no jersey number on the front. Looks like 30. First pitch is swung on and fouled out of play on the third base side. Well, they've got two 30s. One of them is already playing. So I think it's Arnie Arv Arvalo who's at the plate right now. This pitch misses outside for a ball. Another pitch hit hard, but fouled on the third baseline. Hits the top of the batting cage garage. And it counts 0-2 here. And I believe, again, this is Arnie Aravalo. Excuse me, Arevalo. That's how they told me how to pronounce that. So Arevalo at the plate. And the 0-2 pitch from Covenin is missing outside for a ball. Big lead by Brady Wolf from second. He was midway between second and third, and Luke Meyer thought about throwing it out there, trying to get him in a rundown, but no, decides wisely not to. One and two, the count to the batter. And a swing and a miss, and that's gonna do it for Brewster here in the fifth, but they get three runs on just one hit Two men are left. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Brewster down on top of Wodanchi. Five nothing here on the NCW Life Channel. By working together as a community, we can all play a part in promoting children's well being and strengthening families. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Shalane Douglas Casa is dedicated to supporting families and reducing the risk of child abuse and neglect. Join us in our community-wide pinwheel project and help keep kids safe. If you suspect a child is being abused or neglected, please call 1-866-363-4276. Spring brings new beginnings, new growth, and new hope. At Pat Armstrong Ford, we work hard to make sure you find the right vehicle for your lifestyle and season. Spring means more time outside, spending quality time with friends and family, enjoying everything the new season brings. Whatever you want to do out there, we've got the vehicle to get it done. Get your spring started right in a new Ford or Lincoln at Pat Armstrong Ford, where we are community strong. Hi Chase McDowell takes the first pitch on the inside corner for a strike to start off our bottom of the fifth inning with Brewster now on top of Wenatchee 5-0 here on the NCW Life Channel. Tyson shirt and leave continues to deal, and this pitch is swung on and fouled down the right field line and out of play. Count quickly 0-2 on Chase McDowell, who walked in the second and was left stranded on the base pass. Eight strikeouts in the ballgame for Tyson Schertlieb here today. The 0-2 pitch is swung on and a well-hit ball into left center field. It's going to go over the center fielder's head for a base hit and extra. Rounding second and digging for third is Chase McDowell, and he will slide in safely for a leadoff triple. And I believe that will bring up Brownlee next here for Wodanchi as he came in and part of that pitching change to play third base here for the Panthers. Get the glasses up and make sure that that is number eight it is. So Preston Brownlee 
will hit in the offensive lineup here. Preston taking over the spot in the lineup here for Connor Christensen. And the pitch is a swing and a fly ball to left field. That's going to score a run easily. Tagging from third and heading home and scoring on the sacrifice fly will be Chase McDowell. And, well, how do you get back from a five-run deficit? You come right back and score a run to lead off the bottom of the fifth. That is exactly what happens here for Wenatchee. And the fly out to left field, given RBI to Preston Brownlee. One out in the inning for the Panthers. Bases are clear now for Tyler Reams, who grounds the first pitch to him right back to the first baseman. And Gebers will take it to the bag himself. Three unassisted for the putout. Two down here in the fifth and back to the top of the order for Wodanchi for shortstop Tyler Skydelman. Our broadcast here on the NCW Live Channel brought to you by Wenatchee Power Sports, now featuring Polaris, Yamaha, KTM, and Beta sales, parts, and service. All for the day so far here in game two for Skyleman. Takes the first pitch low for a ball. Tyler struck out in the first and flew out to right in the third. Tyson certainly with the 1-0 pitch to the plate. Misses high for ball two, two and 0 oh the count. So a run in and two down for Wenatchee here in the fifth as they now trail it five to one after the leadoff triple here in the inning by Chase McDowell. Swing in a ground ball through the gap between third and short will go out to left field. So a base hit with two down for Skyliman will be his first base hit here of game two. That'll bring up the center fielder, Dylan Kane. Kane looking for his first hit of this game after being walked in the first and hit by a pitch in the third. He was one for three in game one today. Skyleman at first base with a short lead over there. A peek over the shoulder by certainly and the pitch is low and outside for a ball. One and over the count to Dylan Kane. Winden continues to howl out to left field here at Recreation Park. The 1 0 pitch on the way to the plate is a swing and a foul down the right field line, and giving chase is the right fielder, but there's no chance for Zane Madden to catch that one. So the count goes to a ball and a strike. Our broadcast also brought to you today by Sangster Motors. The American Challenge is on at Sangster Motors, home of the all-new Yukon SUV. 1-1 the count to Dylan Kane for the Panthers, trailing at 5-1 here. The curveball misses low and outside. Good stop by the uh, catcher, Logan McGuire. Both catchers have done a good job at backstop here tonight. 2-1 the count to Dylan. Certainly ready with the 2-1 pitch. It's way outside, goes all the way to the backstop. That's going to allow Skyleman to get down on a wild pitch to second base, and the count goes to 3-1 and one on Dylan Kane. Luke Beyer hoping for an opportunity, waits on deck here for Wenatchee. The 3-1 pitch is swung on and ripped to center field for a base hit. The center fielder comes up with the ball quickly. The throw in is off the line, however, and that will score a run. So give an RBI single with Dylan Kane. It's now 5-2. The runner, the uh, base runner, Dylan Kane, goes down to second on the throw attempt from uh, the center fielder, A.J. Woodward. And that'll bring up Luke Beyer. Beyer 0 for 2 in the game. He popped out to short and struck out. And the first pitch here he takes for a ball. 1-0 and the count. So a 3-1 pitch. Dylan Kane laces it to center field. Good speed for Tyler Skyleman. He's able to score from first base on the play. This pitch misses away for a ball. 2-0 and quickly the count here to Luke Beyer. As Jack Covenant, now the pitcher of record for Wenatchee, looms on deck for the Panthers. The 2-0 pitch from Shirton Leib on the way is a curveball in there for a strike, and the count goes to 2-1. and one.
certainly the look over his shoulder and the pitch swung on and grounded to the second baseman down to a knee having a hard time finding the handle it can't is second baseman Brady Wolf so that'll go down as an error on the second baseman Dylan Kane will wind up down at third base on the play and the inning continues for Wenatchee and that brings up the very dangerous bat of Jack Covenant Covenant is 0 for 1. Let's see what we're going to get here. Maybe, well, a discussion on the mound for sure. And meanwhile, a discussion over in the third baseline for the Panthers. And they bring in a courtesy runner at first base. So that'll be Kennedy who will come in and run for the second time here today. Kennedy in game one today came around and scored the game tying run on a two run single by Chase McDowell in the bottom of the seventh as Wenatchee came back to win it seven to six, trying to come back here again in the fifth of this one, trailing it now five to two. Pitch is swung on and fouled down the right field line, and that ball is going to be just foul. That ball should have been fouled by 30 feet, but the wind blowing so strongly from right to left here almost blew it back into play. 0-1 oh, the count on Jack Covenin looking for his first hit here in game two. Covenin one for one with three runs and an RBI and a double in game one. Looking for a chance to help his own cause here. This pitch misses outside for a ball. One and one the count. Kane at third base. Kennedy at first base. And in a 5-2 game, Covenant represents the game tying run at the plate. This pitch is missing and outside, and that's going to allow the runner to scamper from third, and he will score on the play on a wild pitch. Down to second on the wild pitch goes Kennedy. The count, meanwhile, to Covenant goes to 2-1. and one. Still a runner in scoring position. As Tyson certainly having some issues here to try to get this final out in the fifth inning for Brewster. The 2-1 pitch is a strike on the outside corner. Two and two to Big Jack Covenant. Isaac England hoping for a chance on deck here for Wenatchee. The 2-2 pitch from certainly on the way. Swing and a miss and gone is Covenant. But the Panthers get three runs on three hits, an error, and one man left on. We'll head to the sixth inning. It is now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Brewster and Wenatchee on the NCW Life Channel. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing, and they service all major brands of HVAC units. Uh, my name is Brian Thorpe. Uh, I own Global Car Care in Wenatchee and have been here for about 25 years. Brian started Global Car Care as Brian's automotive alternative on Arondo Street. Some customers were following Brian since uh, Brian's automotive time. No, we're just grateful to be part of this community. This is where I grew up. We want to do our part to be a valuable part of this community. We want to thank you for trusting our business for 25 years. To the sixth inning we go, and it is a 5-2-3 ball game. Brewster on top of Wenatchee. Thanks for joining us here on the NCW Life Channel. Eric Ramirez, A.J. Woodward, and Tyson certainly do up here in the sixth for the Bears. Scheduled for seven innings here this afternoon. Our broadcast is brought to you in part by Doghouse Motorsports, now featuring the full line of on- and off-road Husqvarna motorcycles. Also by Shalan Douglas Casa, court-appointed special advocates for children. So Jack Covenant continues to pitch here for Wenatchee in relief. 
Chase McDowell goes four plus, allows five runs on four hits, only three earned runs. Struck out four and walked two. He also hit a couple of batters. As we work in the sixth, Eric Ramirez leading it off, and the first pitch from Jack Covenant on the way to the plate is low for a ball. 1-0 and the count on Ramirez. Ramirez back in the left-handed batter's box to face the righty on the mound, and the pitch to him misses high and outside for ball two. Brewster scored its runs in the third and the fifth. They got two runs on a base hit and an error in the fifth, fifth, third inning. This pitch misses away, so quickly behind is Jack Covenant to Eric Ramirez, 3-0. and They added three more runs on just one hit. Two hit batsmen, a walk with a big hit. Brady Wolf's two-run single. This pitch is across the knees for a strike. Taking all the way was Eric Ramirez. And they count now three and one on him, who is 0 for 2 in the game with a ground out to third and a strikeout swinging in the fourth. The 3 1 pitch is in there and swung on and nicely gobbled up by the first baseman of the play to first, and they got it in time. How about that? What a play for Wenatchee by Preston Brownlee taking over at first base. Goes to his side, is able to make the stop, and then somehow find the handle on the ball, and Jack Covenant chugging over there to first base. He gets the ball as he's falling down towards the ground, and they get the out. So that'll go 3-1 on the putout. One out here in the sixth, and back to the top of the order for Brewster at A.J. Woodward. Slow curve ball in for a strike to A.J., who is one for one in the game with a double. He's walked twice and scored twice. Coven and ready, and the 0-1 pitch is swung on and, and hit down the left field line. Oh, I thought this was a foul ball at first, but no, it's a fair ball. Going to drop in for a base hit. So second hit of the game here for A.J. Woodward, and that'll bring up Tyson Schertenlieb. Schertenlieb, 0 for 2 in the game, flew out to center, grounded out to third, and was hit by a pitch and scored a run on the fifth. So those free passes certainly can come around to haunt you if you're the Wenatchee pitching staff. Coven and working from the stretch. Pitch to the plate is inside and almost hit the batter. 1 0 the count to Tyson Schertenlieb. Mentioned Brewster today has four more games left. They'll play a o Okanagan in a doubleheader at Brewster next Saturday and then finished with a doubleheader at Eastmont on May 15th. Pitch was taken. Looked like a strike to me from here, 400 and some odd feet away. The pitch to the plate bounces in. Nice stop by the catcher. Throw to second base is in time, and they got him. Caught stealing is Woodward. Another great throw by Luke Beyer. Two down now in the inning. And the pitch by Coven into Shirt and Lee was swung on, and well, just uh, how about that? That, if they don't get the runner at second base caught stealing, that's a base hit to an RBI. Instead, it's just a base hit to center field by Schertenlieb, and that brings up catcher Logan McGuire. <laughs> McGuire scored a couple of times. 0 for 2 in the game. He struck out, got a board on an error on the shortstop, and was hit by a pitch. Pitch to him here is swung on and hit on a hop right to third base and a nice easy play there for Isaac England and that'll retire the side. So Brewster retired here in the sixth despite a couple of base hits. They leave a man will head to the bottom of the sixth with Wenatchee trailing it by a score of five to three.
if you're like me, you're already dreaming about the summer, enjoying it with friends and family in the backyard. Don't get discouraged with the chilly breeze of spring just yet. There is still work to be done and the warmer temperatures are just around the corner. If you've been thinking about when to get your backyard ready for summer, come on down to Blue Lagoon, now scheduling pool openings. Ask us why we think you should open your pool sooner rather than later. Call today. Scheduling is filling up fast. Wenatchee Power Sports not only has a new owner, but an all-new attitude to match. Speaking of attitude, check out the 2021 models arriving now. Polaris snowmobiles, ATVs and side-by-sides. Yamaha motorcycles, watercraft, ATVs and side-by-sides. KTM motorcycles and the latest edition Beta high-performance motorcycles. Coming this fall, a huge demo event featuring the latest and hottest off-road machines. It's all at the retuned Wenatchee Power Sports, where maximum performance is a way of life. 3031 GS Center Road in North Wenatchee open Tuesday through Saturday. To the bottom of the sixth we go with Brewster on top of Wenatchee by a score of 5-3. to three. Isaac England, Joe Scadelman, and Chase McDowell do up in the sixth here for the Wenatchee Panthers. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Live Channel. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Enjoy your day at Highlander Golf Course. Reserve your next tee time or plan a party in one of their simulator rooms. You don't have to be a member to dine in style. Give them a call today. So it looks like Tyson certain leaves duties on the mound are now done. Let's see if we can get the number of the new pitcher. And that is number two. So that would be Reese Vassar taking over on the mound now. Misses on the first pitch to Isaac England. So they just make a switch. So certainly goes to shortstop and Vassar comes in to pitch and the next pitch on the way to the plate is missing for a ball. England 0 for 2 struck out a couple of times. Bunch of strikeouts for certainly here. We'll get you his final numbers coming up. He had nine strikeouts in the game. This pitch is swung on and hit in the air and easily played in right center by A.J. Woodward. So a fly out to center for England. One down, that brings up second baseman Joe Skyleman. So five innings for Schertenlieb here today. Gave up the three runs on three hits. Nine strikeouts, impressive. And I think he walked just one batter. This pitch swung on a foul behind home plate and out of play by Skyliman. 0 and 1 the count. Is it just the one walk? Yeah. Nope, two. Three. Three walks. Swing and a miss here by Skyliman. Behind in the count, 0 and 2 now to Reese Vassar. New pitcher, right-hander on the mound for the Brewster Bears. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. So 10 strikeouts in the game now for Wenatchee. That'll bring up Chase McDowell. Chase is one for one. He walked in the second and tripled and scored in the fifth. Gave Wenatchee its first hit of the game against Tyson Schertenlieb. Dominant five innings for certainly, that's for sure. Two down for the Panthers. A swing and a miss here on an off-speed pitch by Vassar. 0-1 the count to McDowell. Timeout at home plate as McDowell takes a step out of the box. Vassar's 0-1 pitch swung on and hit in the air, popped up right back to the pitcher. So that'll be it for Wadanchee. 1-2-3 story for the sixth. We will head to the seventh frame. It's down to it. As Brewster leads Wadanchee 5-3 here on the NCW Live Channel. Building. It's in our blood. 
Building something out of nothing, it takes heart, grit, and hard work. At One Way Construction, our crew is our family. With decades of contracting experience and our in-house design team, we bring a unique perspective to building. We know that if we work together, we are capable of reaching heights that are impossible to reach alone. The possibilities are endless. To achieve greatness once, it's not the end of the journey. It is only the beginning. Introducing the next all-electric super truck. The revolutionary GMC Hummer EV SUV. Reserve one now while they last. Well, here we go to the seventh inning. Reese Vassar, Brady Wolf, and Nico Maldonado do up for Brewster as the Bears lead it 5-3 to three over Wenatchee. And we just went final in the soccer match behind us. It went to a shootout as this one is shot down the left field line, and that's going to get in for a base hit to maybe extra. Rounding first holding there will be Reese Vassar. So a leadoff base hit for Brewster here to start the seventh. They went into a shootout, and Wenatchee is able to win it by a score of four to three in the shootout over Waluk. So high drama on either side of uh, the facilities here at Lee Bofto Field of the Apple Bowl as well as Recreation Park. This bunt attempt is popped up, but it goes foul. Let's see, did the third baseman touch it? That's the question. Is it a foul ball or is it a fair ball? If he touched it in fair territory and then it went foul, that's a fair ball. And I think that's exactly what the umpire is going to say here. So everybody is safe. That'll go down as a bunt single for Brady Wolf. Runners at first and second here for the Bears and that'll bring up Nico Maldonado. Nico's one for two in the game. See if he bunts, he'll square around, but let the ball go by for a strike from Jack Covenant. So Isaac England came in on the bunt attempt, trying to feel the ball in the air as it was popped up and then touched it, I think with his bare hand, then the ball went foul, but he touched it in fair territory. So that means it's a fair ball. This pitch from COVID and misses for a ball, one and one that counts. So we saw in game one where Brewster scored two runs in the top of the seventh. It looked like it was insurance for sure. Now the bun attempt is a curve ball and the in for a strike. The count goes to a ball and two strikes on Maldonado. First baseman Preston Brownlee was close enough to nearly shake hands with Maldonado as that pitch came in. See if they still haven't tried to bunt with two strikes. The one-two pitch swung on a miss. Nice job by Covenin to settle down there. So one out here for Brewster in the seventh. Everybody holds where they are. And this will bring up Kelson Gevers. First pitch from Coven and across the knees for a strike. 0 and 1 to count to Kelson. Looking for his first hit. He's 0 for 2 at the plate. Ground out to strike out. He also was hit by a pitch. The 0 1 from Coven on the way to the plate. Curveball in the dirt. Nice stop by Beyer, who's been a busy guy in two games here for the Panthers as the backstop for the Wenatchee home squad. One on one, the count to Gevers with runners at second and first with one out. Curveball in there for a strike, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes. If you're Wenatchee, you really can't afford to give up anything here. Trailing at 5 3 in your final inning. The 1 2 from Covenant. Swung on and missed, and he strikes out two in a row to get two down here in the seventh. How about that? Now, Arnie 
Arevalo was a pinch hitter. And looks like he's up there again for the second time. And the pitch to the plate is swung on. And how he got around on that pitch that looked like it was going to hit him, I have no idea. But the uh, count on a foul ball, 0-1. Yep. That is a Revelo. And the 0 1 pitch swung on and popped up behind home plate. And giving a look is catcher Luke Beyer. But ball hit the backstop. So 0 2 the count now. And how about Jack Covenant? Gave up a base hit and then a bunt single. Then came back and struck out Maldonado, struck out Gebbers, and now looking to. Finish it here against Arevalo. The 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, and Jack Coven strikes out the side here in the top of the seventh inning. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Last chance for Wenatchee as they trail Brewster 5-3 on the NCW Life Channel. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full-service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. Well, the question, will Brewster win its first game of the season, or will Wenatchee find a way to reach into the hat and pull out a little more magic here? They did so in game one. Now here we are, game two, trailing by two. It's a 5-3 contest, and the first pitch bounces in to Preston Brownlee. He'll be followed by Tyler Reams and Tyler Skyleman. That's the order due up here in the seventh for Wenatchee. Second pitch misses for a ball as well. Two and oh, the count to Preston Brownlee. He came in and got a sacrifice fly for an RBI in the fifth. The 2 0 pitch is across for a strike in the count two and one as Reese Vassar continues to work in relief of Tyson Schertenlieb here for the Brewster Bears. The 2-1 pitch to Brownlee on the way to the plate is low for ball three, three, and one. If you're coach Jeff Zender, you want a base runner. You want a chance to bring that tying run to the plate. And a 3-1 pitch to Brownlee is outside for ball four, and that's exactly what the Panthers have cooking here to start off the bottom of the seventh. Tyler Reams is due up. And I believe this is Tyler stepping into the box. Yes, it is number seven. He's 0 for 2 in the game. First pitch to him misses outside for ball one. One and 0 the count. Now the question for the Brewster Bears. Can they figure out a way to get a win? The pitch to the plate is in for a strike in the count. Now a ball and a strike to Tyler Reams. Vassar ready. The 1 1 pitch is a high strike called, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes to Tyler. Runner at first base. The man at the plate represents the game tying run. The pitch is in there for a strike. Gone looking is Reams. That was a good pitch. One down for Wenatchee here in the seventh. Back to the top of the order for Tyler Skyleman. 
Scottleman one for three in the game with a strikeout, to fly out, then a base hit, and he scored a run on the fifth. Vassar ready. The pitch to the plate curve ball is just outside for ball one. One and oh, the count to Skyler. Tyler back in the right handed batter's box. And Vassar's pitch to him bounces in for a ball. Two and oh, the count. Don't have to worry about Preston Brownlee there at first base. He's not going to risk getting picked off on the base pass. The 2-0 pitch swung on and grounded hard, but foul up the third baseline. Two and one, the count to Skyleman. Wenatchee plated four runs in their last at bat in the seventh in game one to come from behind and beat Brewster 7-6. Two and one, the count to Skyleman, best hitter on the team. The pitch goes in the dirt away from the catcher, down to second goes Brownlee. Three and one, the count to Skyleman with Dylan Kane waiting on deck. Hero in game one was Chase McDowell with a two-run single to win it for Wenatchee. Three-one count to Skyleman, curveball in there for a strike, and the count goes full at three and two. Preston Brownlee at second base. With the lead, here comes the 3-2 pitch over the top of the head of Skyleman. So he's aboard on a walk. Runners at first and second now, and that brings the would-be game winner to the plate in Dylan Kane. Kane with an RBI single in the fifth. He's one for one in the game and has scored a run. The pitch swung on and a high fly ball to right field, but it is playable and going to be caught by Zane Madden. Everybody is going to hold on the fly out to right field for the second out for Wenatchee. So here they are down to their final chance. And that will be Luke Meyer. Luke 0 for 3 in the game. Popped out to short, struck out looking, and got aboard on an error on the second baseman in the fifth. Trying to find the little magic again are the Panthers. The pitch on the way to the plate is in the dirt inside for a ball. One and oh, the count. Brownlee at second base. Skyleman at first represents the game tying run in a 5-3 contest. The 1-0 pitch on the way to Byer is swung on a miss and he was way out in front of that off-speed pitch. The count evens at a ball and a strike. Our broadcast Brought to you by Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa. Great service with a personal touch. That's their commitment to you. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa. Stop by their showroom today. The 1-1 pitch. Curve misses outside for a ball. 2-1 the count. Blue Lagoon, that personal touch, their commitment to you provides a different kind of full-service care that gives their clients peace of mind. This pitch... Misses high for ball three, three and one. The count to Byer with the very, very powerful Jack Covenant waiting on deck for Wenatchee. Runners at second and first take their leads. Here comes a 3-1 pitch. It's in there for a strike and the count full now to Byer at three and two. Wenatchee down to its final out, down to its final strike. Reese Vassar trying to clean it up here for Brewster. Give the Bears their first win of the 2021 season. Buyer ready. Vassar ready. The 3-2 pitch on the way is outside for Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He called it strike three. That pitch looked outside, but gone looking is Buyer and that will do it. Brewster wins for the first time this season with a 5-3 victory over Wenatchee. We'll come back and wrap it up after this time out here on the NCW Life Channel. If you're like me, you're already dreaming about the summer, enjoying it with friends and family in the backyard. Don't get discouraged with the chilly breeze of spring just yet. There is still work to be done and the warmer temperatures are just around the corner. If you've been thinking about when to get your backyard ready for summer, come on down to Blue Lagoon, now scheduling pool openings. Ask us why we think you should open your pool sooner rather than later. Call today. Scheduling is filling up fast. 
spring brings new beginnings, new growth, and new hope. At Pat Armstrong Ford, we work hard to make sure you find the right vehicle for your lifestyle and season. Spring means more time outside, spending quality time with friends and family, enjoying everything the new season brings. Whatever you want to do out there, we've got the vehicle to get it done. Get your spring started right in a new Ford or Lincoln at Pat Armstrong Ford, where we are community strong. So Brewster gets his first win of the season here in game two by a final of five to three over the Nancy Panthers. Tyson certainly gets the win on the mound. He goes five innings, allowed three runs on three hits, struck out nine. Very impressive. Uh, Reese Vassar works the final two innings to get the save here for the Bears as they finally get a win in the column so they're one and nine on the season meanwhile the Wenatchee Panthers fall back to a game below 500 at four and five with the loss here this afternoon the Panthers do take two of three in the series losing pitcher today for the Panthers Chase McDowell goes four plus allowed five runs on four hits three earned runs struck out four and walked a couple the hitting stars of the game for the Brewster Bears, Brady Wolf, how about it? Three for four with a couple of RBIs, and those two RBIs, the biggest of the game, as they proved to be the game winners back in the fifth inning for Brewster. A.J. Woodward also two for two with a couple of runs. Meanwhile, for the Wenatchee Panthers offensively, it was a, a big triple for Chase McDowell. He was the hero in game one today, but he couldn't just come up with the uh, needed uh, juice here in game two, and so it was a Brewster win final 5-3 here in the nightcap. Again, the opener, four runs in the bottom of the seventh inning for Wenatchee to come out on top 7-6 to six over Brewster. So that will be a split in the doubleheader here today. Thanks to everybody involved in the broadcast, including Dan Koontz, who I'm sure is a whipped mess up on top of the press box here on camera one. Levi Day down at camera two. I'm sure he's done with his wind as well. And so am I. Eric Granstrom saying thanks also to, of course, our producer engineer back in the studios, Malcolm Whitehall. That's going to wrap it up. A split today here in the doubleheader with Wenatchee winning game one, seven, six. Brewster taking game two five three have a great rest of your weekend thanks for joining us on the ncw live channel and we'll see you on monday the shot and beautiful thanks for watching high school sports on your home for local high school sports the ncw life channel today's broadcast was brought to you by august edge real estate blue lagoon pool and spa confluence health dick's heating and air conditioning Doghouse Motorsports, Global Car Care, The Highlander Golf Course and Grill, JDSA Law, Laura Mounter Real Estate, Les Schwab Tires, One Way Construction, Pat Armstrong Ford Lincoln, Save Mart, Sankster Motors, Wenatchee Power Sports, Earthwise Pet, and Shalan Douglas Casa. Stay with us all year long for high school sports on your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel. We now return to regular programming already in progress.